Now I'm going to show you three of the strokes that I use the most. One is called the C stroke, and I'm going to use kind of a red color so that you can see it real well. It's called the C stroke, and that's because you paint like this in C's. Just make C's over and over and over. And what we do use that stroke for a lot is when we're applying a petal on a flower and you have the backward C, which is just going the opposite. That's the C stroke. It's great when you're going around a flower. This Pretend the red is green and say I'm working my green around a flower that's here, which you'll see me do in a little bit. Now another stroke <clears throat> is called cross hatching. And what that is, when you have the color end, you don't want it just to stop there. So what you do is you thin it out and you cross hatch. This is done a lot in backgrounds. And you bring that color out until it fades into the picture. See, I'm going back and forth, which is where the cross hatching comes in. And it makes more sense when you can see it on an actual painting. But I want to show you what the strokes are so when I actually start doing them, you can look for them. Now we have the last one is called the feather stroke. And what that is, is a very, very light touch right over your paint. And it takes a lot of practice because if you press too hard, you wipe out what you've just painted. Because with the wipeout tools, you can see that something like that will wipe it out. So what a feather is, is you come in and just barely, barely, feather-like touch the surface. And we use that to smooth out where the paint might be a little heavy. And then you can turn it and do it this way. And this is how you get a very, very smooth brush stroke. It seems like cross-hatching, but it isn't. So now you can see from the very top what a solid, smooth color that is versus something like this that's still showing the brush strokes. That's called feathering.